Hello BioBreeders, this is Tremaine Barbosa and we are here today on the BioBreed Sim and we are here right now at the show house. We are going to do a quick video tour of some more features here on the BioBreed Sim. Today we're covering the show house and the animal racetracks. So starting off here at the show house you can see nice fires are going, keeping it nice and warm regardless of what time of the year it is. Um, right, so on landing here at the show house you will see there are four stations set up. We've got one for the animal of the month, dogs just over here, wild ones next to that, and then ponies and exotics over on the far side. Now, when a show is announced, you will have a chance to come here and rent a panel. Animal of the month is the current one that is open, and you can get a note card for that right here. It gives you the criteria for October and it also gives you the application card. And when you've decided that you want to enter, you would come along here, rent a panel, it's one linden. And then you then put your application in this little mailbox just here. And then I collect them uh, on the day of the Animal of the Month results and I pass them over to the judges to help pick the winners. The animal show, which includes the dogs, the wild ones, and the ponies, um, these um, panels are opened a week before the show, and the show is obviously announced through the BioBreeds support group. Once the ad has gone out, you can then come here, rent a panel, as you can see they're currently locked, but the same principle applies. You would pay the panel one lending, you will get given a note card to complete, and you then put your note card here in the mailbox. And it, and the same applies for all three of these, the wild ones, the dogs, and the ponies and exotics. You'll see that we have just passed uh, a couple of raffles. Um, they are free to enter when we have a show running. So you will literally just click that and it'll enter you in. And this little seat just here, that's where I sit when we announce the results. Um, so yeah, this is basically it when it comes to the show house. You'll see there's some contest boards up. Now the contest boards um, are for the audience's choice. Uh, more commonly known as the most unique entry and these are um, entered by the people who have entered their animals into the show and then everyone here that's seated in these lovely little comfortable chairs gets to cast a vote on what they think should win the most unique entry or the audience's choice and at the end of the show we call the winners on those and they get a unique trophy to take away with them. So that is the show house in a nutshell really. Uh, we're going to go in and take a quick trip now to the racetracks and we're going to start with a dog racetrack. So let's just click here and find dog races. There we go. So here we are at the dog racetrack. Now I'm just going to wait for this to resin just quickly. Now if you take the teleporter you land just here. Um, if you take the landmark you end up in this lovely little gazebo which is hiding up here. Either way you come down onto this track. Now, this is the start line of the racetrack. You'll see examples of trophies that you can win. So, this is, it. This is the start line. Now, to make your dogs and wild ones race, you need to, to use the go home command. Now, it's in the manual for you to use. So, what you need to do with regards to the races, the natural fact is actually go down to the far end past the finish line. I'm going to walk down rather than run, only because my computer can't catch up. So when you get down here to the finish line, you would res your animal here on the corresponding number to the lane you have chosen. And once you have done that, you would then use the follow command and get your either dog or wild one to walk back up or run back up the track with you. And then when you get to the far side, that's where I'm going to be sitting, uh, when you get to the far side back up here at the start line, you would um, tell your animal to sit and then edit it in place so that it is looking down the track. And then what you do is you're waiting for me to go ready, set, go, and you'll have the commands all typed up in the local chat. And as soon as you see the word go, you would send your animal home by using go home for the dogs or lair for the wild ones. All right, so you can use those commands. Again, they're all in the manuals for you. And the wild ones and the dogs run in straight lines, hence the track in its straight line form. Spectators can sit in these lovely um, canopied seating areas, and there's a little bit of few to explore as well. There's trees and a nice sort of wishing well and a garden bench there. So we are now going to 
and go to the pony racetrack. And I ought to have brought a pony with me, but I didn't sadly. So let's just go here and select pony races. Here we go. So let's just take just a moment to res in. Again, teleporter takes you to a slightly different location to the actual landmark. Gazebo is just there when it reses in. Computer's being a little bit slow today, but we won't worry about that. So what you would do is you would come along here. Again, examples of trophies just up there for you. You can have your pictures taken just here on this little podium. And you will see here is the entrance to the racetrack. Now the racetrack is sort of oval in shape. Now, the reason for this is that you will actually ride your ponies and exotics around the racetrack. Now, what you do is you would be getting your ponies lined up in behind these uh, gates. Um, the race coordinator, which is me, uh, will then start the race. And you run in an anti-clockwise direction, like so. So, you would run around the track for four laps, is what we do here at the racetrack. And then once all racers have crossed their fourth lap, the results are pasted up here on this board. And then we give prizes accordingly. So I am going to be doing a demonstration a little bit later on in another video just to show you how to do the races. Uh, but I just wanted to do a quick tour now just to show you where the racetracks and such are. And just to show you that you can get back anywhere with regards to the Barbreed Sim. I'm just going to go back to the teleporter. I'm decided to walk, as I said, because Resinin isn't playing nice with me today. So we're just going to go here. And we're going to go back to the main store. And there we are. Just give it a few seconds to resin. There we are. There's the welcome message. We're back at the teleporter, and here is the main store. So you can see, no matter where you are on the Biobreed Sim, you can actually get back to the main store or to any of the features that we have already shown. So do check back again very soon for a video on how to do the pony races and the dogs and wild ones. That should be up in the next few days.